this video, I'm going to be demoing a program called Ganter for Google Drive. Uh, what it is, is it's a it's a software that you can use for making Gantt charts, and Gantt charts are a specialized type of scheduling tool. And this particular program is really used. If you sign up, you get a free 30-day trial, and uh, very, very easy to use compared to some of the other ones that I've seen before. So let's try it out, and I'll show you how it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up a bunch of tasks that I might have uh, when creating a piece of computer software. So I might have something like brainstorm idea, um, design objects, design JFrames, code, or coding, maybe we'll do testing, installation, and patches. Something like that. So I've got a bunch of different steps. I'm going to have seven steps for my program. Now, what I can do is I can specify how long each thing is going to take me. So maybe brainstorming takes me a day. But objects takes me two days, for example, and my JFrame might take three days, and my coding might take, I don't know, ten. Testing maybe is going to be five. Installation one, and patches will say is two, something like this. Now, what happened is all of these tasks, they've created these horizontal bars for them. Now, they're all at the exact same time. They're all starting right away, and we don't want that. We want the designing objects to occur after the brainstorming has already occurred. So what I'm going to do is you can actually change the dates of when all these things start if you want. But what I'm going to do for my designing objects, I'm going to set a predecessor here. I'm going to double click in here. okay, And I'm going to say that my designing object cannot occur until brainstorming is done. Click save. And you can see what it does is it sort of shifts it over here. And then my J frames. Maybe, you know, someone else could be doing that at the same time. So we'll say that the J-frames, we can start doing J-frames right after brainstorming idea as well. So both those tasks can start right away. Okay, but coding, maybe I can't do coding until both of those are done. So let's go for the here. So the coding cannot be done until these two are done. So you can see what's happening here. It's sort of making this timeline for my project. Okay, and we'll keep going. Testing, testing can't be can't be done until coding is finished. So that one, the predecessor for testing will be coding, and installation will be after the testing's done, and patches will be after installation. So I'm just setting all the predecessors here. What has to be done before the next task can be occurred? So let's bring this over and take a look at what we got. So here is my visual representation of all the steps for my project and when it would end and how long each task is going to take. So this right here, this is a Gantt chart. So it sets out different milestones and different dates of when things should be completed by. It's a visual representation. I can print this out and put it on a wall and I can specify, you know, when everything should be done, when each task should be done. Right now, I mean, these things aren't labeled or anything like that, but at least I can see each step, what it's going to be. Um, as far as each task, when it's going to be done. So again, this was just a very quick demo of how Ganter for Google Drive works. And you can print all this stuff out. That's no problem. You can specify when each thing will start and end. Although the end is, is easily, it, it figures it out for you as long as you have the durations in here, which is pretty nice. And uh, yeah, so just something to, to show you. So again, this is a summary of Ganter for Google Drive.